stripe. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to move on to the next question, which is quite similar in topic. So this is from Prachi Sajvani, uh, the University of Cardiff and the Council for Mathematical Sciences. So uh, to date, there have been 64 recipients of the Fields Medal. So it's like a Nobel for mathematics. And among 64 people, only two of them are women. Uh, also, there was a research conducted by London Mathematical Society, which says that in uh, 2017 and 18, 89% of math professors in the UK are men compared to only 11% of women. So uh, what do you think is the reason behind such gender disparities in mathematics and what can we do as a society to address this? Can I maybe start with this? Well, I mean, it's, it's obvious because girls can't do hard maths. <sighs> <laughs> I will clarify the comment. So that was a comment that was made to our committee during an evidence session we were taking on diversity in STEM. And it was made by a head teacher of what was um, a very uh, prominent school, Catherine Burble Singh, who, when questioned about the number of girls doing maths and physics, she said girls couldn't do hard maths. Good grief. <laughs> Good grief. Um, I, I said at the start, I'm a physics teacher by profession. And what I found was that to get girls doing physics, and it would be similar in maths, of course, um, to get girls doing physics, you had to plant the seeds. It doesn't happen automatically. You have to actually go out and, you know, find the talent, appeal to the, in, the, the young person themselves, but also to their parents. And unfortunately, often we forget about the parents as part of this. And once we, and I believe, strongly believe, once we start getting more young people taking subjects like physics, maths, engineering, um, there will be more math uh, female mathematicians winning the prize you talked about. But until that point, but, but whilst we still have views that I expressed at the start, we've got a huge amount of work to go, and I think we're decades away <coughs> from, from getting there if these views are replicated in many other places, unfortunately. Carol's right. Let me add to it. Um, there, is a, there, is a, there is another way, because Carol's a wonderful teacher. I wish I had been taught by Carol. But you weren't in my class. I was probably quite horrible as well. Dude, to be honest, once, I once got the, the prize, and I was very pleased about getting it, as the meanest teacher in the school, <laughs> to, so that was to, quite, quite to, happy about To be that. fair, a, a member of the WIPS office today has said, God, you must have been a nightmare to teach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there is something to that, that creative brain that says why, it doesn't say yes, it says why first and needs convincing. I think there is something about educationalists. But two points. Um, one, I think we are starting to get much better in terms of creating role models. Personally, I would think I, I would make every tw it mandatory to watch Hidden Figures by every 12-year-old girl. I just love that film from start to finish, even though it's dealing with tough themes. Um, you know, the idea that she, that, that Catherine, oh God, I forgot her name, sorry. Uh, no, 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 the, the lady oh, that, yes. the, the Catherine yeah, yeah. lady that, calculated. basically, yeah. she on yeah. paper, without any kind of transistors or chips, calculated how to get to the moon. If she can do that with that level of oppression, anybody can do it. The other thing I would say, again, it is also, again, role models. So uh, I hope she won't mind me saying, but the current Minister for Children, Claire Casino, is a massive maths nerd. You'll torture and she'll go, oh, yes, well, I thought about this. And it's like a 5 and 73 thing. Now, I'm a biologist. I can do your systems thinking. No idea what she's on about. I've probably quoted the numbers wrong. <laughs> but there are, there are roles for people and we need to keep going. And the Fields Medal is probably one of the examples where actually people are both hiring and viewing in their own image. So people like yourself, people like Carol, people like Claire, people like those in Hidden Figures... Just keep bashing on the door and know that there are parliamentarians and other, plenty others here to help. Fantastic. And very briefly, Mr Metcalf, do you have anything to add? Um, I, I do. I, <laughs> I'm always careful. So, um, yes. I'm uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, before I was here, I worked with my mother, mother, wife and sister for 25 years. So I am very aware of... Uh, 
the delicacies, shall we say. Right, now, it, it, this is an excellent question, and I wish I knew the answer, because it's been a problem that's been around and going around now for many, many years. Back in 2016, I was the government's envoy for the year of engineering, because it was the same problem. There were 9% you know, of engineers were women, 91% were men. How do we change that? And so we came up with a, a project, a program for a year to go round and try and break that. And we had some success, but not as much, if I'm honest, as we would like. So the solution um, to this starts right at the bottom. It's a pipeline. And if, unfortunately, it is a leaky pipeline. Uh, and if you want something to come out at the top, you've got to make sure that you're putting an awful lot in at the bottom. So we need, obviously... Uh, more young women to be studying maths at uh, a senior level, at A level and beyond, uh, and we need to make sure that we are doing everything we can to encourage them, not force them, encourage them. That it's not too difficult, it's not too hard. Actually, it's beautiful. And it's easier for me than English. <laughs> Much easier. Yeah, I won't comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, that's why I said. Yeah. That's why we get on so well, um, but. Fill that pipeline, and then we've got to find ways of keeping people inside the pipeline. So that instead of only... Because if 11% of uh, professors are women, just by rights of those 64, six or seven should have won the field prize. Mm -hmm. But only two have. So some, it's leaking even at the very top. So what can we do? Fill the pipeline. I think there may be some cultural issues that we need to look at. I think there is an issue around tenure and security of professorships, that actually it is, whether we like it or not, still the case that uh, most it is mostly women who take career breaks to have families, and that might interfere with their career progression. We need to find a way of working around that. Um, it also doesn't lead to wanting to move from university to university. You actually want to stay somewhere and you know, do your research, have all the opportunity to take it to the, the highest level without having to leave a particular institution. So I think that's important. Role models are important. Uh, of course they are, but we need to make sure that the, the role models are there throughout the system. It's not just aspiring to be uh, the person who's won, one of those two women who has won a field prize. It's actually throughout that pipeline. Get the pipeline right, uh, get the, the structure around it and the environment right, and hopefully we will see change over a period of time. But it, it, but it does take effort, and I think that's what we've all got to make sure that we continue to talk about this, and where, any, where we can spot there is a particular problem, address it. Can I, can I just jump in Very just briefly. for a final, final comment about pipeline? We talk about a lot about the leaky pipeline, and I think we're all familiar with that analogy. But um, somebody was chatting to me, she, she was a professor not of maths, I uh, think of engineering. She says, I'm, I'm fed up hearing about this leaky pipeline. She said, that suggests that people have just been lost by accident. She says, I think it's more like a toothpaste tube. And she said, with holes in it where it's needing to be squeezed out, it is things that are happening that is forcing people out that don't necessarily want to leave. And that's what we need to address. Thank you very much. So in the interest of time, the answer to the next question is if we can keep them slightly... Shorter, that would be fantastic. I've got two more questions to get through in the remaining time. So if I'd now like to turn to you, Kieran Wolf from the Royal